Good morning and welcome to today's reflection. Today's reading is Luke 13 verse 33, Luke 14 verse 25 and Luke 18 verse 31 to 33. In any case, I must keep going and tomorrow and the next day, for surely no prophet can die outside Jerusalem. Luke 14 verse 25. Large crowds were travelling with Jesus and turning to them, he said. Luke 18 verses 31 to 33. Jesus took the twelve aside and told them, We're going up to Jerusalem. Everything is written by the prophets about the Son of Man will be fulfilled. He will be turned over to the Gentiles. They will mock him, insult him, spit on him, flog him and kill him. On the third day, he will rise again. This is the word of the Lord. Jesus prays for his disciples. He's preparing them for his death and his resurrection. Before this, in John 17, Jesus prayed for himself. Father, the time has come. Glorify your son, that your son may glorify you. Jesus knew his time had come. His time had been planned and guided by his father. God had prepared him for this moment. Throughout Jesus' life, he did God's work. He performed miracles, his grace, his love, and he was obedient. He would be with his Father in heaven. The disciples had been with him from day one, and had been with him a long time. But they could not think of living without him but about his glory, not about his suffering and being tortured, mocked, insulted, or even being killed. There's so many passages in the Bible that predict Jesus' birth, death, and resurrection. John 14, verse 28. You heard me say, I am going away and I am coming back to you. If you loved me, you would be glad that I am going to the Father. For well, the Father is greater than I. It is very hard to know we will lose someone that we love. But all this time, Jesus was preparing his disciples, very from the beginning, and he will not, he will rise again. But they didn't or couldn't understand what Jesus was saying. And now for a short prayer. Lord Jesus, you called me to follow you as your disciple. Help me to extend your love and your grace to all things in our lives. Help us to follow you, trust and believe in you. We know you are always with us. Amen.